Non-tuberculous mycobacteria are a type of bacteria that typically are found in soil and water in the natural environment. People with CF can acquire NTM similarly to the way they acquire other bacteria, typically by inhaling it uh, from the environment. And because in CF there's a challenge with getting um, bacteria or other debris that we inhale out of the lung, that can take hold and develop a, a, an infection. Currently, it appears that most people who have NTM found in their respiratory cultures actually don't go on to have health problems related to that. NTM disease is a condition uh, that we diagnosed when it appears that uh, the person not only has an infection uh, that shows up in those repeated cultures, but it is causing a decline in their lung health. This can be pretty challenging, and so we have to consider a number of different criteria. The first one is that that infection is found in repeated cultures, and so these are typically sputum samples that have to be obtained. Um, secondly, uh, the individual is showing a decline in their lung health that can't be explained by other causes, typically their other bacteria or other infections. And, and often part of that overall diagnosis includes a CAT scan of the chest and the lungs to look for a characteristic picture that may suggest that this infection is causing damage to the lungs. This particular bacteria is quite hardy and so it's resistant to many antibiotics. And when treatment is required, it can be quite complicated and prolonged involving up to several months of IV antibiotics. Unfortunately, that is not always successful in treating uh, the infection and eliminating it from the lung. And it can be associated with significant side effects, particularly damage to one's hearing or kidney function. So there's a lot of good work going on uh, looking at non-tuberculous mycobacteria infections in CF. Uh, three primary areas come to mind. Uh, there's work uh, focused on trying to understand which NTM kinds or species are being found in different parts of our country, whether or not they may be happening more versus less often than they were in the past, how the environmental conditions in those parts of the country may affect that. We're developing an important research network with CF sites that are uh, more expert in treating and researching or studying uh, NTM and CF. There's research looking into how we can repurpose existing drugs that may be useful to treat NTM. Some of these early candidates may include bedaquilin, nitric oxide, gallium, and others. There's a lot of research in NTM, actually not just within cystic fibrosis. More people uh, have NTM who don't have CF than do. Additional uh, efforts are going in to try to identify new or novel compounds that may be useful as drugs against NTM. And so a collaboration is ongoing with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the NIH along with the CF Foundation to screen compound libraries and to see if any of those may be effective against treating NTM. And then there's work to look at how uh, those people who are benefiting from CFTR modulator drugs may be better able to clear or not acquire in the first place some of these infections. And so for those who do have NTM infections, it's important to maintain that hope and know that we're all here partnering with them to improve their life and their outcomes.